But the only real way to find out if it's working is if we do this. Oh. It was at this moment that he knew. Oh my god. Oh. Dun, 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 boys, we did it. I want to do this fancy intro for you guys, but I don't want to spoil anything and I don't want to give anything away because this is just over 17 hours of R&D went into the creation of this thing and we've done it. it. This is incredible. So be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Shop Happy Jappy if you guys need anything. The Discord is back. Link will be in the description. I'm literally spending the next 100 days just farming grass. That's it. I don't even care. This is my biggest project yet by far. Don't forget to leave a like. Enjoy the video. Previously. But I'm cutting here to go grab some sandstone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys. Sandstone is a check. Look at this. One, two. We got almost six. And then we've got sand. I need all of this for glass. This is so resource hungry and all of this. All of this is only like half of it. I still need to make like 2,000 rails. Powered rails. This is, this is gonna hurt my brain. Okay, but are you guys ready? I've got the TNT running here in order to try and clean up the hole a little bit or finish cleaning it up anyways. But the rest of the stuff we've got to clean up. We've got to get all of this out of the way. Every single thing there is useful to me. And I, I am going to be so broke after this. Like, I don't even think these are enough amethyst shards. How much shards do you need in order to make some tinted glass? Because I need six stacks of tinted glass at least. <laughs> oh my god, we need so much. We have a lot of exposed amethyst though, so... I think we're probably going to be good. Okay, but it is cleanup time. I got to get all of this out of the air. Um, excuse me. Okay, we're cleaned up. We're cleaned up. Look at how nice and shh. Look at how nice and tidy it is in there. I clearly have some lava that I need to hide. But whatever. Because we're clean. Look at how. Oh my. Okay, we got like a hundred layouts to do right now. So, and I'm not even joking. We have we have like 17 portals to put in, and some of them are huge. Some of them are tiny. But they all require a very specific location. And for me, I need more. I need more room. A lot more room. Okay, area is clear. This little area right here, this is going to be... This is for the bad farm. And I know what you guys are thinking. Huh? But just you wait. Just you wait and see. Yeah, this is... This is all very specific, especially for a solo player. And we're not... We're not... We're not touching that button. We're not touching it. We're not spawning any Steves. We're not spawning any extra player. We're not even bringing in a secondary. Shut your mouth up there. Okay, but we got 7,000 portals to make. And the main one, the first one, this is madness. And how big can a portal be? I think it's 21. Well, that's one. Okay, and this is where the bad farm portals are going to be. Now, believe it or not, we don't even have to slice these ones. And this is going to be... This is plenty. We still have to do... We got to do the light update thing, though, so we can't light these yet. But oh my god, it feels good to just be able to burn through obsidian and not have to care about it whatsoever. Okay, and that's it, right? We can... Yeah, we can light these. Okay, but like I said, we... We can't light them yet. We've got to suppress the light. So like I said, that's the bad form right there. That's where it's going to be. But here's what we need to do now. I need to grab, because I want to be able to see... What is going on on the inside of this thing? So we need a full stack of tinted glass because we need it to be pitch black in there. Thank goodness for this. But this is what we need to do. We need to enclose all of this and make it absolutely. We need to make ourselves a bat cave in here. It is light level. There's pitch black zero in here. But this is going to be the bat cave. We just can't. We can't light this yet. This, this one. This one needs to be light suppressed. But now looking out there, looking out into the abyss, I have three key portals that I need to set up. Three of them. And all of them are very important.
Oh, and you can hear. You can see. We've already got bats in our little bat cave. This thing, this thing works like a charm. And we don't even have to portal slice it. Okay, now there is one portal we gotta slice, so it's gotta go like right in the middle. And we also need the return for these guys too. So I've got, I've grabbed my scaffolding. We've gotta build up. So right here, this is where the return portal for those bats right there is gonna be. We need to make a three wide portal right here. And then we need to enclose it in some glass, which should be plenty. Oh yeah, it's plenty smelted by now. Okay, not only do we need some white glass. And we need to build some sort of small little runway right on top of this little three by three here. We don't wanna go through. I don't wanna mess anything up. Okay, and that's the little runway right there. So this is where we are going to... Well, we'll explain it all after. That's the bad form. We need to build something up there. But now what I need is I need another portal above this one, way up in the sky, and that is gonna be for a chunk loader. But that portal way up there, that is gonna require us to have... We need some shards. Okay, then. Let's just see how much glass. Let's see. Eh, that's actually not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, but let's set up the second portal here. I don't know if it's been a while since I've slept, but I don't care. Okay, time to go up one more time. And this right here, this is where we gotta build. I think it's a 9x9 nine nine platform that I gotta make up here. And I didn't even have enough materials. But right here, this is where I need to build a nice little simple chunk loader. So we need a chunk loader to go right about here and the redstone to go with it. Okay, that's the basics of the spitter system right there. Now we just need some repeaters running out from that torch. And with that, we are all set up and ready to go. Now all we have to do is just put some items in here. But for now, we can just leave this empty. Um, Yeah, we can light it. Okay, but with the bad farm done, that portal down there in place, and the chunk loader in place, now it's time for us to just move on over to the nether, because we gotta get the nether side in place now. Okay, over here in the nether, it is important that I now remove this portal completely and get it out of the way. And now we need to go down, and we are going to get a couple of these boring portals out of the way, especially before we have to start doing all, all of the suppression. This is the area but I need to build the return system for the bat farm. It needs to be high up enough that it's not going to interfere with the other one, but it can't be too high that it's going to interfere with the chunk loader, so... Okay, the two nether portals are a check. We've got them in place. Now we just need to make sure for all of the linking. We gotta make sure that everything is linked up. And another thing I've done, because this bad farm, it's a little ridiculous. So we've gone ahead and done something a little ridiculous. This took an entire Minecraft day and so many emeralds. Look at that though. This is all for flint and steels. Unbreaking threes. Oh my, so many, <laughs> so many levels gone. But this should be plenty. This should be plenty for the bat farm. I'll show you guys. He tried to push me to my death. What a net. What, what a jerk. Did you guys just see that? He tried to push me to my death. Oh, he hit so hard. Okay, here it is. We need to load these up right here with all of these unbreaking flint and steels. We want these to try and last as long as we can. Okay, and with a little removal of that block, now what we should get is we should get a back and forwards motion here on these portals. Wonderful. Okay, now we need to go back to the overworld one more time. 
Okay, so what's supposed to happen here is we need to, before we light suppress this, we need to go down and into our little bat cave here. And we need to just light one for now and test and see if it brings us into our little bat farm thing, flip flop, whatever this is. Okay, and we're here. This is perfect. And now instead of waiting 30 seconds, here's what I'm going to do. Let's see if it brings us back. Okay, and we are in, we are in the perfect position. So now all I need to do is I need to just, I need to get down there and I need to close that portal. And this portal now, once we activate the bat farm, is where all of the bats are going to come through. So they will spawn in there. You guys are going to love how this works. Especially you nerds who have been telling me that this is impossible on solo player. Why are you blowing up all my stuff? Yes, fall to your death, please. Okay, but I got to break this portal. And now what we need to do is we need to get rid of these. Go away. Okay, we need to close that in to make sure that it is completely pitch black in there. And now what we need to do is we need to go and turn on our simple little light suppressor. Okay, so here's how we're going to get this. Here's how we're going to light suppress this. We have to turn our timer on. First thing that I need to do is I need to load up this bottom one here with like six stacks and then turn it off. And then I need to put four in here, turn it off one more time and go to the nether quick. We gotta go, we gotta go. It doesn't take long for the system to burn through four stacks. Now all we need to do is we just need to wait until some lag picks up, which will be a good indicator that it turns on and then we can start to fly out and see if any more chunks load. But for now we need to just stay here right here okay i just felt a lag spike let's go okay the chunks have stopped loading we don't want to go that far though because we don't want to despawn this but now here is what we are going to do now as long as this we shut this right okay yeah good okay we need to open this and sorry boys but you're going to the nether close this I don't care how ugly that is for now and then all we need to do now is log out okay I'm logged back in I can't open that now and actually I wish I I wish I had a way to show you guys but I can tell from the color of that 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 is a light level zero in there now those four portals have been light suppressed and it should be pitch black in there let's just actually see if we go like this let's see if we see anybody spawn in there Okay, so it is a light level zero in there because we have mobs oh there and we have mobs here. So that is officially a light level zero enclosed mob farm. And when we turn the mob switch on, that is officially a bat farm. Now what I need to do is we need to, I don't know, we got the bat farm done. Which one do you guys want to do first? You want to do the boring layout or do you want to go do the portal of death? Let's do the portal of death. Okay, but the part of the portal of death, I am going to need redstone I need to make a whole bunch of rails uh oh I need more gold oh no I'm only halfway there I need oh no okay so uh, yeah spend some quality time at the gold farm there we can now definitely make our rails Okay, that's all our powered rails, and I have to just keep remembering, I have to keep smelting glass. We're almost, we're gonna fill all these hoppers. But we have our rails, we have all the sandstone we need, and we have the regular redstone we need. The only thing we need now is I need to get some target blocks. I completely forgot that I need 200. We need some hay bales, which means we're going to every single, I need my hoe. Oh, villagers. Give me it all. That's a half stack already. This might not take so long.
Oh, we got some here hiding underneath the snow. You can't hide from me. Okay, now for every target block, we need four pieces of redstone, which is ridiculous. So this means we're going to be burning through a lot of our redstone reserves, too. Well, let's see how many we can make. Oh, oh no. I swear I still had a few stacks. They've got to be somewhere. Because I don't want to dip into this. This is... We need this. Okay, but that's enough target blocks. That's more than enough target blocks. Okay, and over in the nether, this right here, right underneath these two blocks, this is where I've got to put the death portal. And all of this behind me is in the way. What did I do to you? What did I do to you to deserve this? Wait a minute, what? What is going on? Why am I being double attacked right now? Get away from me! What did I do to deserve this? Bring it on. I'm glad that happened though, because look at my pickaxe! I didn't even realize. I almost blew- Hey! Will you stop it? All this area for an update suppressor, and if I was smart, I would have carved the update suppressor out of the nether rack. Why didn't I go? Oh God. Okay, the update suppressor is complete. This thing is nuts. The rails. Okay, last little bit of redstone to put in though. And we are good. Um, I think we're good. Let's test it. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it's working. I'm pretty sure it's working, but there's only one way to test it. I got my obsidian. Where's my flint? Please don't tell me I forgot my flint and steel. There it is. Now what I also need is I need a couple of those right there. I need two magma blocks. And that's it. I just need to build myself a tiny little floor right here to just kind of sit from. Okay, and that is our layout right there. Now I need to go around. I'm just gonna go and double check. Before we try this, because I probably screwed something up. I have a lot of... I have so many... I have slime blocks left over. And I brought an exact amount. What did I miss? I don't know what I missed, though. Oh! That's what I missed. Okay, those are fixed and in place. Now we should be able to see... Hold on, let me go do a wrong... You just leave me alone, will you? Get away from me. Yeah. Okay, let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. Here's how we have to do this. This is death portal time. It did a double flick. Okay, it's working. But the only real way to find out if it's working is if we do this. Oh. It's working. We have officially... We have... Not quite sliced the portal yet. We're not there yet. We're just doing a little test right now. Okay, but I need to put that back because that is the wrong one to break. We actually need to break this one down here. Woo! And then we need to break this one here. This one here. Magma block. Break that one. Take that out. Magma block. And we're done. We're officially done. All of that right there for that. Just an, one of the meanest portals you've ever seen. Anything that goes in there is going to die, suffocate, and then the items are coming right back to the overworld. I know, isn't this amazing? You guys were expecting me to put some fancy giant storage system here. Nope. Everything's in the overworld for this farm, boys. Everything. What? But now it's time for me. I have to now enclose this. And we should be able to do that safely. 
even without the update suppressor. So if we take that off, we go like this, close that in right there. And now the only thing I'm worried about is this right here, actually. I think we're actually going to leave that obsidian. You guys know how mobs and glass work, but that's it right there. That's the most dangerous portal in Minecraft. Okay, but all that for this right there. Now I have to tear this down and rebuild it in the overworld. I'm really tempted to do that to the bat farm portal because that would allow us. We wouldn't even need the mob switch anymore. We could just run this farm. No mob switch. Um, okay, but will you just shut up, please? Because it's tear down time. But it's also build a floor time because I am not... I'm not losing all these items. Remind me never to do this again. What a nightmare it is to try and weave in and out of all of those. Oh, this is a nightmare. Hang on, we're having a moment here. We're having a moment here. We're having a moment here. Hang on. Hang on. Just having a moment. Having another moment. Oh my goodness, remind me to do a base plate under the next one because this was a nightmare to try and clean up. Just a simple base plate would have made this clean up literally like five minutes and it's taken 30, 30 minutes. Run, run for your life. That guy's got one of my things. I don't appreciate that, sir. Anyways. We need to now go back to the overworld and we need to rebuild that thing for the return portal for this. For that right there. But that is it right there. That is our death portal. Oh god, let me clean it up. I literally just... But there we go, that is all three portals in the nether done. So we now have the bat switch, which is below us, the double thing that we built, the chunk loader for everything too, and now the only thing we have left to do is complete the overworld side. We have two portals to do and a sorting system. I'm literally just dumping half of the items into cacti or lava though, because yeah, I am a solo player. This is a lot of gunpowder. Okay, but we're back here, and now I have the debate to do. I have a big debate to do. Do I slice this portal and put magma blocks on the bottom, or do I leave it? Slice it or leave it? Slicing it means that we can just get rid of the mob switch, and leaving it means we need the mob switch. What do we do? What do we do? God, do you just get away? Why do you guys do this to me every time? Slicing it also means that we might have to do the update suppressor twice, but we might be able to get away without it. I don't know. We're gonna see. Um, we're slicing it. So I gotta rebuild that silly little... And now you guys just watched me build this once already, so let's just do this. Now what I need is some signs or some banners. Okay, but now that we got everything, I need to now... I gotta twist this portal. See ya. Oh my god. Okay, portal is a check. Now we just need to come down here, flop this machine on, and hopefully as long as we've got this correct, let's see. Nope, I screwed something up. What did I screw up? Never mind, I just removed the wrong block. It was at this moment that he knew. Oh! Oh. They crashed the game. I can't do anything. Oh boy. 
Please don't be blown up. 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 Okay, let's just redo this. And let's try to be quick about it because I can't believe... Nope, never mind. Some stuff broke. I don't know what it is, but... Was it just that? It might have just been that. Yep, we're all fixed. Like a charm. Okay, there's a two high portal. Good enough for all the mobs. Now we are going to go magma. Magma. Surround this in glass. And that should be perfectly fine. I think that's going to be okay for now. But now what I need to do is I need to set up another portal. Oh my god, that scared the... That is exactly what we want right there. Just pure death. And see, the bats will now survive. So we don't even... <laughs> I'm giving too much away. We're spoiling too much before the farm is even near complete. Get out of here. And now this next portal, this next portal is down a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a few more. I'm going to make some more banners. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some water because the other portal needs to go exactly in line with this one right there, but it needs to be down. So it needs to be like around this area right here. So I need to grab some water and we're going to do this the easy way instead of building up. Actually, no, it's probably just going to be easier to build up. I don't know if that's going to be high enough. We're going to have to see. No, definitely not. And you need to be careful flying around here. I don't know if I said this last video, but if you accidentally fly down into one of those little one by one spaces under bedrock, that is the end of your hardcore world. So if you're doing this, be absolutely careful. You don't fly into a little two by one area like that. That's the death of your series. Okay, and this, yeah, we are in line. This is right where the... Okay, so maybe my layout before, maybe I was off on my layout before because this is actually the dead center of the farm right here. This one piece of obsidian and we are in line with that. And that looks like we're pretty much in line with the center of the bat farm too, so... I may have accidentally got this right. Okay, but now I am definitely... I'm definitely going to need more banners. Let's light this and let's take some banners and let's run them out from that block right there. Turn. Turn. One more. And we need to run a row of banners that goes up and touches that rail up there. Oh, I need to be careful. Okay, one and two. Right, everything updated. All right, now we can drop down here. And I got to make sure that I get the right one. Oh, I did it. I don't have to build that thing up there because that takes half an hour to tear down and one hour to build. I am so, I am a, we just nerded out. Okay, now the next one. One, two, three, four. <gasps> that scared me. That doesn't though. Oh, <laughs> we're so close. We're so close. Okay, I had to make a few more banners, but with this, we should now be able to just jump one, two. Okay, there's our update. We're now going to jump down. And bingo, we have two slice portals ready to go. This one right here. You wait till you guys see what comes out of this one. This is, this is crazy. Okay, and I'm going to leave the update suppressor on. Or up for now, just in case I screw anything up, because I have to now build absolutely everything on the receiving end right down here with this. <laughs> okay, and pickaxe, please don't die on me now, because I need some shards. Okay, now under this portal, what I need to do is we need to create a water trap that comes over into a corner right over here. We also need a sign right there. 
water flowing that direction and now the rest of it we should probably change that to packed ice maybe but this is it right here this is the water elevator that's going to be leading into our storage system i've got to put all of these shulker loaders in place now i think these are by a guy named borkin i still have no idea how many of them i'm going to put in but i'm just going to throw a bunch of them in Okay, and here are the shulker loaders. These are, like I said, these are by Borkin. I've already gone ahead and torn everything down too. So now all we need to do, well, I stopped here because I need the redstone for below me. This is enough though. This, like I said, this farm rips. We're gonna have the cacti or the garbage chute here at the end. Um, yeah, everything's been torn down. Now what we need to do is we need to take everything and we need to build it on the bedrock below us. Because with these portals sliced and this all set up and ready to go, <laughs> it is time. Okay, we're jumping in here real quickly before I finish the roof because that's really the only last thing I have left to do. But this is insane. This is, this is almost five hours worth of placing blocks right here. Look at this. But we are pretty much ready. I just got to put a roof on this thing and then, oh, we can start suppressing absolutely everything. And I won't be able to do a time lapse for slicing the portals because... Yeah, I have to crash so much, so we're going to be doing this whole thing pretty much together. But this is bananas. I have had to make so many, so many extra. But we are set and ready. Look at the platform. Look at this. Solo player EOL farm. This thing's going to be insane. Okay, but I got to stop talking because I have so much left to do. I have to put the roof on this thing, and then we've got to slice the portals, and then I've got to replace all of these here with glass. That's right, some glass. And then we might even have to start chopping. We're going to see. I have to turn all of these into slabs now because I need multiple shulker boxes full of slabs. Okay, the shulker box plus my inventory. That might, that'll probably do. If not, I've got more. We've got more we can cut. And I'll admit it, okay? It's kind of nice having the mob switch. I'm not going to lie. It's, look at freedom. Freedom. Nothing but bats. Okay, here we are. The roof is done. I don't know if I'm going to hit you guys with another time lapse or not because this is going to be like number probably 19. But the roof is done. And as well, I've already gone ahead and tested. Yeah, so the, the compressor works. I haven't screwed anything up. But we are slowly, slowly running out of days here. Uh-oh. So we need to get slicing. Now what I need to do, we need to absolutely, we need to test this. Let's go over to the light suppressor. Actually, no, first. I got my gold. Hold on. I'm surrounding myself with haste beacons. Because that is going to help significantly with trying to get rid of some of the obsidian because this is... <laughs> and the slowest thing about this is removing obsidian. Oh my god. Almost forgot. I also need to dye all this glass. So now these ones right here. These ones give us... Okay, so we need one of these. And that one flower is going to cover us for the red dye, but now we need blue, which I'm pretty sure we can get from lapis, and I have so much lapis. Okay, and it turns out we are going to need so much more blue dye and red dye in order to make purple dye, so we're just going to set this up right here. Okay, we got a shulker box full and almost two, so we are almost... We actually might have enough in order to do this. So we might... We're, 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 I think we can get started. I think it's time. First thing we need to do is load up this suppressor and then turn it off. Okay, now we need to go. 
Because we don't got a lot of time before that light suppressor turns on. We made it. Light suppressor is on. First round of glass. Obsidian. We can start to build this first portal. While we wait for the light suppressor to turn on. And now let's just do this. And let's go for a little fly and see if anything is loading. Which it looks like they have stopped. Okay, so let's go back and light this portal. Okay, that is one portal successfully sliced. The lag is starting to build though, so we might, this is gonna be insane. So now we need glass. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho ho. Glass. Ho oh, oh, oh. ho And we gotta get this right. Ho. Oh. oh, it came back. I don't know what just happened there, but it just. You guys seen it. Do that again. One more time. And then we gotta fill these with glass. Oh. Now we just need to put some glass over top of these portals right here. Because what this is going to do, this is going to stop any Enderman from spawning. Turn the update suppressor off. Give this no block right here a flick. Everything should move. Oh no. That's okay, because we can now replace these anyways. That is no effect to how we do this. And we are good to do the next one. But the thing is, is that I didn't wait very long in order to do this portal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crash here just to see if it actually worked. Okay, we're logging back in. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it worked. Look at this, everybody. We have successfully sliced the portals and light suppressed them too as well. Okay, now if all is well, yes, the light suppressor is still working. So that means we can log out. Log back in. We have about 20 minutes time of the light suppressor. And we can just repeat that over and over again. Portal is lit. Portal is sliced. Portal is nicely cleanly cut and in place and ready to go. And believe it or not, that's all that row needs other than the roof. So now we flick this off. Move the entire structure one more time. We need to finish covering this entire portal right here, all the way down to the end. Oh. Glass at the end, and now we can do the other half of this portal. But now what I got to do, let's go and see if we do have some chunks loading. Because if we do, that means I got to go turn the light suppressor on again. I just got afraid because my timer, my timer went off. Oh yeah, we got chunks loading. Okay, we got to go turn the light suppressor on one more time and then we can continue that. This is going a lot more smoothly than I thought. Okay, I'm back here at the light suppressor. I can't decide. Do I, yeah, I mean, look at what I've done over there. Do I extend the timer or do I just run the hoppers around and let it go indefinitely? And I've changed my mind already. I am just going to reroute absolutely everything right back into the system. We're just going to leave this running and we're just going to get this done. We'll just leave these here as backups just in case the entire system somehow starts to despawn items. I have a system and a way of getting back here with the light suppressor on, but it does. It's going to take like 20 minutes of loading chunks. Okay, but now what we need to do is I need to take five chunks from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves turn that on. Okay, light suppressor's off. I don't even know why those guys are spawning because the mob switch is on. I don't care because it is time to go. Now we just gotta wait. I have everything, right? I grabbed my fireworks box. Okay, light suppressor is on because we have nothing. Oh no! No, I forgot I turned down the chunks. Oh, okay, good. That scared me there for a second. And bingo, there's our third row done. Okay, I have been just concentrating so hard right now. I probably sound so monotone while I'm doing that because, yeah. 
I literally, I don't want to screw this up. But that is three rows done pretty smoothly. Um, we've only had to crash twice. Let's just keep this going. This one, this is where it gets a little scary and tricky. Because you got to make sure that you press the right one. Lava. I am so nervous doing this. I am like, I am. It is incredible how... I don't want to screw anything up. Lava. One. Two. Lava. One. Two. Lava. I don't even have lava and it's working. Look at this. The things you find out when you start doing these... This, this farm is just... Okay, that's a lot of work right there that I did and I did that extremely slowly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. And we're crashing. I'm still here. We might have to legitimately crash the game. Okay, and everything so far is looking absolutely wonderful. Now, what is that? Three? Okay, I gotta pick up the pace here because if I don't, I'm gonna have to do literally over 100 and something crashes. I don't want to do that because yeah. So enough with my jibber jabber, okay, everybody? Buddy, we don't got time for your crap right now. Uh -huh. He's selling a mini enchanted table, though. Uh -huh. And a mini cartography table. Those are the one of the nicest blocks. Why you gotta come around at a time like this? Hey! Oh my god! <gasps> I did the wrong one! Now, what do we do about that? Do we redo the whole portal or do we just... Call it what it is and fill it in with glass. Well, I say we just call it what it is. But I have to remember to not do that again. Because if we do that, I've only got 2,287 spawn spaces in here. So we need, and we need them all. We need them all. All of them. Now we only got 2,886. And we're done. We are officially... <laughs> 1903. Light level zero standing right beside a portal. And because of the way the roof is set up, look at the light level as soon as we step one block away. One. So the roof around this thing is the perfect size. The perfect size. Okay, but before we can showcase this farm... I've got a bit of teardown to do. This is probably going to take three hours. No joke. Three hours in total. So we are definitely bleeding into 1900 days here. And we got a little bit of glass to do around this half of the thing too. But that doesn't actually take very long. This, tearing this down and tearing that down is going to take longer than putting this glass on. So... Okay, everything is all torn down and looking good. We're getting lots of lag from all the bats. But we're having an issue here. I do not want this. I don't want this right here. I didn't think about this. I have to go. I have to do my little hop skip trick here and get all the way back to the light suppressor. 
and turn this sucker off. Okay, here's the edge. We just need to relog. Okay, and we're back here, but it's gonna get really laggy really quick. And we had to quickly make a second. Yeah, we lost pick pick. But I need to try and see if I can correct that right there. And we need to do it before it gets too laggy, so I've got some torches. And now let's see what we can do about this, because right now the game still thinks that there's a big, yeah, suppressor here, and there isn't. And it thinks it's right there. And this is essentially all we have to do to get rid of that. We just got to go along and replace the light sources here where this once was. And this should hopefully give us all of our light levels back here, our normal light levels anyways. Okay, but now let's see. And let's not try to do too much. Okay, that looks like it's updating it. Okay, but it's time for us to remove the rest of this floor. And uh, let's try to do it without sacrificing another netherite pickaxe because, yeah. Rip pick pick. It died doing this right here. Okay, there goes the floor. Now the only thing left to remove is the roof and the beacons. But this is it. And look at this. We've got so much lag that I could pretty much fly forever. This one block will not disappear. I can't stop. I can't stop. There's We're, we're probably at like three... Gotta get to the light suppressor. So I'm turning. Why am I not turning? Oh gosh. Woo. Okay, we're gonna have to log back out and log back in. But the roof is done. We are done. Okay. I had to shut this off though before. Okay, now to just turn this off for the final time. But now we just need to relog to let all of the chunks load back in, and then it's time. We've got two small systems to put in place. And the farm, the eel farm, is completely finished. We are completely, we are completely finished. All I need is a couple of timer systems. One for that down there, which we probably don't even need. And then we've got one more small one, very small. And it requires a dispenser and an arrow. Thank you, light suppressor, for your service. I will be taking all these observers and pistons back, though. So close. Feed me more, please. Feed me. Why are you always out of stock? I know I could always count on you two. And oh my god, this thing was so expensive for like books and everything. Look at all. We have like no emeralds left from the raid farm. We are going to have to spend 100 days literally just farming. Just to recoup on everything that we have used up and burned up over 100 days of just grinding this out. Okay, but now, what do we need now? What did I come back here? Okay, this upper box, this is going to hold, this is going to hold the update suppressor. And any obsidian that might have to go along with our next farm that we're going to do. Because, I don't know, redstone is a big issue. What are you guys thinking? Do you think we do an end of light witch farm? I think so. But let's get going. All I need is a redstone box. I got arrows, right? But first, before we go back, let's set up the system here that we need. Even though we're probably not even going to need the mob switch anymore. I'm still, let's still set up the system and I'll show you guys how I originally intended to have this working. Okay, now one of the first things we need to do is we need to just run some redstone out from here. To a simple pressure plate with a dropper on the back of it. That's it. Now we need to take that same redstone signal and we, can I hit this shot? Oh, I hit it! And now we need to take that same redstone signal and we need to run it out and down into another redstone torch right here. And this is where we are going to have one of those minecart chunk loaders. I don't know who came up with this minecart chunk loader, but this thing is like genius. Okay, and that's it right there. So just a dropper system. We'll, we'll talk about this in a second. Because now we need to go back to the nether. We need to rebuild the opposite end of this genius little junk loader right here. 
Oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. What is going on? I am under siege. Ah! And we need to build it right here. Somewhere around here anyways. This guy here is going to ruin absolutely everything. We need a simple redstone torch and everything should be connected, hopefully. Oh, the other side's not powered, so I wouldn't know. Yep, but it is where it needs to be. Okay, now all we need for this system is a simple button on top or anywhere on this dispenser here. What is this? It's a dropper with one single item. And that is that system done right there. I was going to make it a little bit more complex, but like I said, we probably don't even need it anymore. So we're just going to... That's what we're doing. Okay, but I still need the mob switch for a quick second here because I don't want things to get laggy. And I don't want to... I don't want to spoil the reveal. Okay, now for the perimeter, the other system that I need is way up here. And again, I was going to make this a lot more complicated than it needs to be. So here's just what we're going to set up for right now. I need a little bit of my tinted glass. Okay, and these items right here, these are all we need in order to have this system work for us. Dispenser facing up, temporary block, obsidian, a button with a redstone torch. We just need a couple of arrows in here, so this is going to give us 11 chances. We can get more. And one more button, and with this, what we have is a simple one minute timer. That's it. That arrow is going to despawn in one minute off of that button. And that's literally all we're doing for up here. So this was it. This is the last system right here. Check. Ready to go. The EOL farm is complete. All systems are now a complete go. The only thing I need to do, we just need items in that chunk loader over there. And I forgot to turn off the bat farm. So we should probably double check and make sure that all those flint and steels are good to go. I have a feeling they've all been burned through because I'm a dork and I forgot to turn it off. Oh, I still have a little bit of shadows to try and get rid of. You can see it there. Oh, you can really see them at nighttime. You know what? Whatever. I don't even care. Okay, now one last thing before we can. I have to light up this cave right here. Big time. This is bat central in here. I don't need this. Okay, that might be... That might be enough. But what is going on in here? We found more cave... Okay, it is nice and bright down there. Now all we need to do is we just need to go double check on the flint and steels. Nope, I see lit portals. How many did I burn through? Oh my god, if unbreaking three flint and steels lasts that long? That's impressive. Okay, we just need to put some items in this chunk loader right here because this one's been empty. Oh, crap. Wrong chunk loader. I mean that junk loader. Okay, and we have items coming to and from, so that means the perimeter is being loaded. Okay, jumping ahead here because I'm sure you guys are like, Chapman, just get to it. I've already put the cacti and the water over at the form, and now it's time. I've only got 30. I got hardly any fireworks left, but it's farm time. What time of the day is it? Okay, we're midday, so we're good. It's farm time, boys. And for this barbaric system, all we need is one item in here. And we need to press the button with one redstone torch. Yep. Now we need to throw down our rail. And hopefully it comes back. Our minecart, I should say. Okay, we're in business. Now we've got five minutes. We've got five minutes to activate the farm. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, are you guys ready for this? Because this is insane. Now, step one for this farm is we need to fly up and activate the bat farm, which is as easy as this, especially with the mob switch on. We just got to land here and press this button. And when that redstone torch turns on, it's time to go. Right now, all of the bats are isolated into that farm. Ah, oh, uh, we'll just press it again. But all of the bats are spawning inside that farm right there. And there should be no mobs because the timer right now for the mob switch should be on. Now we just wait for that. 
It's time to go. Okay, and with our hitboxes on, you can see we've already got some bats in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually just wait until we get a second wave of those guys. Which should be any second now. Within 30 seconds, anyways. And there they are. Okay, there is definitely enough bats in there for us to run the farm. And the beautiful thing about this bat farm is, is these guys won't despawn because they're within a certain radius of us standing down here. And now let's go down and see. It hasn't quite been five minutes, so there shouldn't be any items coming through. But are you guys ready? Cactus is in place. That's all in there. Hitboxes are off. Let's just wait for the glory. Any minute now. All our bats are still up there in the bat farm. Any minute now. This is the longest five minutes of my life. Oh! 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 Look at all of those items coming through. Oh no, we've already got a screw up. But look at this, it's working. Look at all that gunpowder. Look at all that rotten flesh. Look at all of that bone. Look at all of... Oh my gosh, what have I done? <gasps> Idiot. Oh, that's why I didn't put a block of ice in there. Most of it, we should probably change that to packed ice, maybe? Packed ice, maybe? Why did I not put a block of ice down in there? That's okay. And I need another one for underneath there. That's what's going on with those. But look at this, everybody. The farm. Are you ready for this? Can you see it already? It looks like our Christmas tree down there. Look at it. Oh, no. And it looks like I made my platform one too low because those guys are not despawning. They're not even going in the holes all the way. So I'm going to have to add in some trap doors, but that's okay. There it is, everybody. Chapman solo player, EOL farm. You don't need a mob switch. You don't need anything. All those bats are still there. They're not going anywhere. But this is it. I'm going to have to make a backup of this world in order for you guys to see the nether side of this because it's so simple and it's so insane what is happening over there right now. But I can't show you because I can't open to land. Yep, I got my platform one too low. See how when I'm up too high here, there's nobody spawning out at the edges? It's all kind of towards the inside. And when I come down one block, they're still out at the edges. I made my entire platform one block too low. But that's all right. I can feel the lag already starting to build up. So we need some blue ice. Two pieces. All my bats are still there. But so are all these items. So are every single... Look at all the... Like, look at just... Houston, we have a problem. And this is why I made the roof up here out of tinted glass. So that way we're able to see down and we can place items up here without messing with the light level below us. Because if this was just plain glass right now, even removing that block right there would update the light level down there and would ruin our farm. So this is another reason why also right here, I'm actually just going to confirm first. Yeah, I put tinted glass underneath here, so I should be able to correct that without messing up any light levels. Okay, and let's jump in here, and let's just go... Okay, that's one ice put in place. And yes, if we wanted to, we could even run the farm down here. Look at how insane this thing is when we're even down here. Okay, both of our ice are in place now, so we've got one and two. I get so nervous placing stuff around here. Why is it so laggy? Oh, I fell down. Yep, all my bats are gone. We need to go. We need to go. We got to restart the farm. I fell down and we now and I killed all my bats. That's one thing about this farm is you can't fall down to the bottom because if you do, then all your bats will despawn and the farm is why am I not going? Oh my God, it's so laggy. But that's all right because since it's daytime again, let's see if we can actually run this farm and start this farm and see if it's actually going to be a success because I want to, I want to run this farm. I want to be able to use this farm without a mob switch. Because if I can get away with this, this is next level. This is seriously next level. Okay, but right now the mob switch is off. So we should be good. So now let's see if we can run this farm without the mob switch. 
Okay, everything is good. Everything is loading, which means all of the bats that were in the nether have been despawned. Let's see if we can get away. Let's see if we can get away with this. Let's see if our little slice portals... Let's see if they actually work as intended. We'll give you one minute. It should be a mob farm in there right now. Spawning absolutely everything, including Enderman. Including Enderman, which we don't want in any of our spawns. Okay, it's time to go. There is our mobs. I hear bats too as well, so that is absolutely perfect. But now the moment of truth. Oh, we've only got two. Let's see what we get on the second wave. Okay, in the second wave, we have a bunch of items that came through, but it looks like there's a number of bats up there. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. So let's go up and run that one more time and just see. I don't care if it takes a couple of tries in order to try and get some stuff down there. Here comes a torch. Let's go down and see. Okay, there is our mobs. We can also hear bats again. But I can't tell how many is there because there's actually items in the portal too. So we're just going to have to... There's going to be another wave coming through. There it is right there. I wonder if that's going to be enough. It looks like there is plenty in there. Let's drop down and see. Let's see if it gets laggy. Okay, items are coming through by the thousand. Are we getting any hold up this time? No hold up because of the ice. No hold up there because of the ice. I haven't even started to arrange my item sorters yet because I need so many. We need to fill all of these with shulker boxes, so we're just letting it run and kill everything right now. We just had another wave come through up there, which means we have even more bats up there now. So it's looking like we... Might not even need a mob switch in order to run the EOL farm. We could just simply run the bat farm, kill all the mobs with our little deadly portals right there, and we are... <laughs> this is fantastic. But I'm cutting it here. I still have so much work that I need to do with this, and I want to do something over there too as well. But we got to recoup on a whole bunch of materials, so I'm cutting it here. 1918 days, and we have ourselves one of the silliest farms in Minecraft. Does it look like that input matches that output? They look like they match, don't they? 